The ban on cell phones at San Mateo High School began with pushback from some parents, but now it seems the students are getting pretty used to it. I beat Maria Medina on whether the school's phone-free policy is working. Well, already San Mateo High School staff say they've caught some students trying to get around the policy, but they say for the most part it's working. The cell phone ban starts at the beginning of each school day with students locking up their phones in pouches. They touch it to the magnetic base. Every morning, every student. Their phone then gets put in the pouch. Puts their cell phones in a sealed pouch where it's stored all day, even during lunch, until the last bell. For the most part, teachers are loving it. They feel like they got their classrooms back um, from all these distractions. At first, the policy was met with some parents who had concerns. Any emergency that would take place, how do they get in touch with their child, which I totally can understand. But San Mateo High Assistant Principal Adam Gelb made sure every classroom and office had the magnetic device to unlock the pouches just in case of an emergency. And with the policy in effect now for several weeks, it's now all about refining it. Gelb says each pouch is assigned to a student to hold them accountable for lost or broken pouches. For those with medical issues, they're given a yellow card they display on their desks that allows them to use their cell phones if necessary. And for the 50 plus students without phones, parents must sign a form confirming their child doesn't own a cell. Then there are the students who try to get around the policy. Today I took a phone from a student who had a fake phone in there. This parent says he's even heard about students trying to find ways to unlock the pouch. I mean, they're still trying. They're uh, exploring. <laughs> what can they do? <laughs> and how do you feel about that? It's, I think it's normal for kids, yeah. I mean, teenagers to do that. But for the most part, the policy seems to be getting a warm reception. You get like a better teaching environment, but like sometimes I want to like search something up quickly on my phone and I can't. And no one seems to be hanging up their hats just yet. Basically, really, we're just going old school here. It is bringing it back to the old school. My own mom used to drop things off in the office when I forgot my lunch, and I think we need to revert back to that. And in case of emergencies, Gelb says they are able to quickly send out mass messages to parents in different languages. On the Night Beat, I'm Maria Medina.